y'all, it's Hannah, and welcome back to my channel, or hi, hello, if you're new here, if you're new here, hi, hello, and welcome. My name is Hannah, and thank you so much for stopping by and checking out me and my channel. So, for today's video, I'm really excited because I have been wanting to do this tutorial for quite some time here on my channel, and I'm just now getting around to doing it. So, today, I'm going to be doing a 90s grunge look like I am so excited about. I've been wanting to do one of these for quite some time and now is the perfect time to do so and what got me really intrigued and inspired to do this look is because we recently just got Dish Network and I have been watching a lot of Nick Rewind. Nick Rewind is so awesome and so incredible because it shows all of the 90s cartoons that I grew up with as a kid and I was actually born in 95 so I was pretty young in the 90s. I wasn't old enough to wear makeup but uh I don't know I just kind of want to try like a grungy look I know in a lot of my baby photos my mom kind of has a similar makeup look going on so I kind of want to recreate the whole 90s grunge aesthetic so let's go ahead and get right on into it this tutorial for this look today, I'm going to be using my Pure Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes. So first, I'm going to go in with a limited edition palette. This is the BoxyCharm X Pure Cosmetics palette. I'm going to be taking the shade in this palette called Perfect, and I'm going to be applying that shade as my transition color. Um, and I'm going to be applying that shade to the crease with this little crease brush that I got off of eBay. Now I'm going to be going into the start of the show, and that is going to be the Pure Cosmetics to Be Your Selfie Palette. Um, the first shade that I'm going to be taking in this palette is the shade Natural, which is just that really pretty warm-toned brown shade in the center. And what I'm going to be doing is just applying this into the crease, kind of over the transition shade. Now, the reason why I laid down the transition shade in the crease is so that way this shade won't be super dark and super harsh. shade up here. I'm going to be applying that shade to my lid using this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. I'm not going to be doing any shimmer today on the lid. I'm going to be keeping the entire eye look very, very matte. Taking just a tiny little bit of the shade at free, I'm just going to be popping that onto the outer half of the lid and into the crease. And I'm going to be using just a very, very tiny amount of this because I don't want to make this eyeshadow look super, super dark. But I do want to add just a little bit of darkness just to kind of add just a little bit of definition. Now that the eyeshadow look is complete, now I'm going to be doing some mascara. So I'm going to be using the Lash Domination Mascara from Bad Minerals. But first, I'm going to be curling my eyelashes with the e.l.f. Eyelash Curler. Alright, for lashes today, I wanted something super light and just natural. Nothing big, nothing bold, nothing super dramatic. So, I'm going in with my e.l.f. Natural Lashes. And this is just what they look like. And what I'm going to be applying them with is this little metal applicator right here. And then I'm also going to be using my Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive to apply them. I am back and I went and did my foundation, my concealer, and my powder off camera. I do this in every single one of my tutorials, but in case you're new here, I just wanted to run down that little synopsis what I went off camera and did. So, what I'm going to be doing now is finishing up the lower lash line area. So, I'm a little bit torn about what I want to do. I don't know if I want to put some brown liner in my waterline. I don't know if I want to use some black because I feel like black is going to make this look super smoky and I'm not really going for a super smoky look um but I don't really know about the brown either I pulled out these two eyeliners um this is from a brand that contacted me um on Instagram they're called e Scoos e studio e studio don't really exactly know how to correctly uh pronounce their brand but they contacted me 
um, earlier this year, I want to say, and they wanted me to try out their new pencil gel liner, so I think I'm going to use the brown in my waterline. Um, it's been a while since I've actually used these. It's not that I don't like them, it's just that I honestly have other liners that I was using, um, over these, so I really need to use these again and kind of get my feel for them. So that's just what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use the brown liner in my waterline. Going back into that Pure Cosmetics for your selfie palette, I'm going to be taking the shade at Natural, and I'm just going to be running that along my lower lash line area with this e.l.f. concealer brush. Now I'm going back into that Lash Domination Mascara from Bare Minerals, and I'm going to be applying it to my lower lashes. completely honest with y'all this next part of the tutorial I'm just gonna be winging it because I don't really know if people did a lot of bronzer in the 90s so I'm going to be applying some bronzer just to kind of warm up the complexion with because in all honesty if you do your makeup exactly like how they used to do it it's gonna make you look really aged I, I guess you could say um, and also, too, like, people in the early 90s and in the mid 90s and in the late 90s really did not have a concept of what blending was, especially with eyeshadow. So, um, you know, we're going to be modernizing this tutorial. So, that's why I'm going to be using bronzer. And for bronzer today, I'm going to be using my Ciate London bronzer. This is just in the shade of Bamboo Bronzer. I'm trying to use this up, so that is why I've been using it a lot in my tutorials. But I'm going to be applying it with just this big fluffy brush. I've been going back and forth between my bronzer brushes recently. I've been using this. I've been using a more um, condensed, more um, denser brush to apply my bronzer. But today, I really want to use my big fluffy brush because I haven't missed it. For blush today, I'm going to be using my Essence Mosaic Blush in the shade All You Need is Pink. And to apply it, I'm just going to be using this angled up blush brush that has a uh, random hair on it. I don't really know where in the world that dog hair came from, but you know what? Dog hair travels all over the place. I have learned that um, over the past three years. Later today, I'm going to go in with my Mary Lou Luminizer from the Balm. This is just a really pretty, subtle, everyday natural highlight. It's really pretty, so I thought I would use it today. And to apply it, I'm just going to be using the Cheek Highlight Brush. So, last and certainly not least is lips, and I actually thought I had a lip liner to go with this lip color, but I guess I don't. I must have misplaced it. I looked for almost, I think, about 15 minutes over there in my little compartment where I keep all my lip liners at, and I could not find my lip liner that I normally use with this liquid lipstick. But today, we're going to be going in with the NYX Lip Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks. These are, this one's in the shade 24, and this is just what it looks like it's a deep brown color and it gives me such 90s vibes like i really really love it um these liquid lipsticks i haven't really played around with a whole lot um there is a red one that i also have that i like but again i haven't really played around with that one too too much um, to pay attention to the formula or anything like that. So I can't really make any comments on the formula, but I can make comments on the colors that they're really, really pretty. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to my lips. y'all so that is this complete 90s grunge inspired makeup tutorial i had a lot of fun creating this look i think it turned out super pretty um and i think you definitely get the whole aesthetic vibe especially with the dark lip um the eyes turned out really pretty it's super natural it's super basic um these pure cosmetics palettes 
I really, really love, I love the formula of these palettes. I love the shadows. They're so pigmented. I like how the mattes are very smooth, very buttery, very easy to work with. And the shimmers in this palette are phenomenal, especially if you wet them before you apply them. They're just absolutely beautiful. So if you ever can get your hands on a pure cosmetics eyeshadow palette, I promise you, you will not be disappointed. You definitely should. Hashtag not sponsored. And so, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, and if you enjoy and love the 90s as much as I do, then give this a big thumbs up down below. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're down there as well, because I'm here for you with new videos every Thursdays, Saturdays, and Wednesdays at 6 or 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. You can also give me a follow over on social media so that way you can keep up with me. You can keep tabs on me, and you can keep a lookout for when I post and upload new videos. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching this. I greatly appreciate it, and I will see you all in Thursday's video. Bye, my little Hannah Horn.